Yo, 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 what's going on? This is Leonidas Guest coming at you. Hey, making this video, just wanted to share with you guys how to install these uh, these uh, indicators. So you can trade the custom organizers. Hold on, let me find where I got them at first. Oh, I moved them, that's why. Alright, so what you basically want to do is open up your trader, right? And your trader, it should look something like this once you're finished with it. Um, just to show you some examples. It should all look the same for the most part. GJ, move it, baby. GJ did some moves last night. All right, so to set this up, real easy. You should have got the four indicators. Uh, all you want to do is go to File. Go to open data folder and then you want to click on MQL4 and then all you want to do is in here just paste those indicators and literally just cl click right like let me show you real quick let me uh, where's it at you literally just right click copy and then you just paste it let's go paste boom See, you need to set because it's already in there, so I don't need to do it. And then once you do that, you go back to your trade account, your platform, and then you just go refresh. You just refresh it. And they'll all show up there. And all you got to do, let me pull up a new chart and show you how to set up a, new, a brand new chart. Let's go. Um, I don't know where it's actually called. Crypto. AUD USD. All right, so when you pull up the chart, it looks like this. I'm just gonna hit. I'm gonna take the grid, the grid, 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 grid off. Where's it at? Grid, 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 grid. Uh oh, let me just do Control G. Then I want to do Alt T. Um, I like to put this on there just to kind of trade fat quick, uh, a lot faster. You know what I mean? So the indicators that you want to click on: Semaphore, OK. And you want to click on the TTM scalper, and I'll go more in depth on these. Uh, uh, what are they called? These indicators in another video. I just want to show you how to install them real quick. And then you want to click on a solid pip counter, okay. And the next one would be the GG trend bar, but just make sure in here that you go and you go to a corner and put corner number, put number two, okay. And I'll put it right here in the bottom left, boom. And then, uh, what else is it? You got the candle closing. You don't really need the candle closing, but not a big deal. Uh, we'll go bottom right. I like to put it so I can see it. So I might do like red. Font size 15. This, isn't, this one's not really mandatory. All right, so that just lets you know how much time's left on the candles. And then the, the ones you really want to focus on are the custom moving averages. You want to do a, a a three, three period, and then go a simple shift. Don't mess with nothing else. Colors, it's gonna be yellow. Okay, do it again, and then leave it at red. It's gonna be a nine period, nine value. Boom, and then one more time. Okay, one more time, and it's gonna be the fifty. Right, and then this one, I, I, I mean, I, usually I just do like purple or blue. I just do a different color. I just go purple, fuchsia, and then I do a thicker line. So it's easy to spot it. Boom. And that's pretty much it. That's how you set up these indicators on here to get going. Oh, and also then we got the support resistance. This just go, goes ahead and it automatically scans and shows you where the support lines are, resistant lines are. And I mean, don't just solely depend on that. You know what I'm saying? Put you, get, get in there, draw up your charts, do your own support and resistance. And we'll get some more in depth with the strategy that we use, the King King strategy, um, where you can actually take advantage. Look at this perfect W. Bomb, 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 and then a drop. <laughs> Probably hit that t that TP right there. Probably will come down some more, and then bam. Anyway, um, yeah, pick one pair. By the way, one pair. If you're brand new to trading, especially if you're on a live account, pick one pair. GJ is usually a good one to start with because there's a lot of movement on GJ. There's a lot of pushing on the CSV testing this zone right now. It's actually when the price is below the 50 and the yellow close the red going down. That's what you want to look for. 
cell position. So red means sells, yellow means it's transitioning, green means that it's a buy, buyer's market. Again, see that perfect W form? Wham, it's going down, down. It's probably gonna retest this zone before it bounces back. Yep, 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 yep. See that pattern? That double shoulder dropped. Tell some more that push down. Told, told, told you it's about that push down, man. Bounce back, bounce back. Boom. Anyway, hope this helps, y'all. If you got any questions, please feel free to hit me up. Um, this is a private video. This video is not to be shared with anyone outside of our group, if they're especially, especially if they're not a paid member. So, I'll see you at the top of the bank and most definitely on the beaches of the world. Happy trading. Remember, 20 pips and dip. Peace.